I'm excited to tell you that it's now easier than ever to upgrade to the newest version of Squarespace so you can finally get access to all of the new features, including the new Fluid Engine Builder. For a long time, there was no easy way to move from 7.0 to 7.1, and with so many 7.0 users wanting to make the switch, it was really frustrating for all involved that to make the move, you essentially had to start your entire website from scratch. We created a video previously outlining all of those steps, and it was a pretty long video because it was a really long process. But now Squarespace has finally given us that magic upgrade button we've been waiting way too long for. While the solution does have some limitations, which we will touch on in the video, it allows you to retain your precious website content and data right where it is like your analytics, your customer data, your subscriptions, and all of your settings. And it cuts down the transfer time tenfold. So this is exactly what we're going to be walking you through how to do today, how to actually transfer your site from 7.0 to 7.1 with this new transfer tool. A couple of things to look out for, some warnings and limitations along the way, and some best practice tips to make your move as seamless as possible. So if you're finally ready to make this switch to the newer and better version of Squarespace, follow along. Okay, first things first, before we actually get started with the upgrade of your website, we are going to make a backup copy of your site. We highly recommend doing this just in case the big upgrade doesn't quite go as planned and you would rather go back to how things were before. You always have a copy of your original website to revert back to. So to do this, you'll want to be on your Squarespace dashboard. Go to your website and click on the three dots in the right hand corner and choose Duplicate Website. You can then click Duplicate and wait for your site to populate in as a copy. Next, we'll need to check to make sure that your Squarespace 7.0 site is actually compatible for this upgrade. So right now, Squarespace's new upgrade tool is only available for those with a 7.0 site that uses a template within the Brine or the Bedford family. In order to check which template family you're using, you'll wanna go into your website, Go to the Website tab, and then Pages, and at the very bottom, you should see something like this. This is going to tell you which version of Squarespace you're using, which template family you're in, and what the name of your specific template is. If the name of your template family is either Brine or Bedford, then you are all good to go. If it's not, like it's not right here, don't worry. You can first switch your site over to a compatible template to be able to take advantage of the Upgrade button. To do that, go back into your website tab, click on design, and then click into where it says template. You can then choose to install a new template and it will take you over to this page of all of the available Squarespace 7.0 templates. You can then scroll through and choose your new template base. And because it's not super obvious right off the bat which templates are within the Brine or the Bedford families, you can actually just go ahead and choose either the Brine or the Bedford template itself. So the Bedford template, I believe, is usually here under their popular designs. And then the Brine template, I think you can find under online stores. Yeah. So there's Brine. And you can go ahead and choose either one of those. Or you can go to the blog post where we have all of the different templates within each family laid out. Once you know which template you want to go with, you'll hover over it and click start with that template and it's going to populate over here in your template tab. You can then hover over it and click preview to see what your new site is going to look like with this template. While you're previewing, you can actually go into your site and make changes or edit the design a little bit if you want to, but you should note that while you're in preview mode, some changes that you make might be affected within your live site. If you're just tweaking the site styles or the navigation a little bit, then you're probably fine, but changing the actual content on each page, so things like text or image blocks, is going to affect how things look on your live site. So it's just something to be aware of that while you are previewing, the things that you do or change might also be reflected within your live site. You might want to consider putting up an under construction page before taking this step, just in case you're worried about things looking a little bit off. But once you are happy with how everything looks, you can go ahead and choose set as live template down here at the bottom, click confirm, and your template is going to be switched over. You can see that the live icon is now next to the Bedford template, and that means that we are all compatible and ready to go, and you will now have access to Squarespace's upgrade tool and you can proceed with your upgrade. 
In order to access the new Squarespace upgrade tool, you'll want to go into Website, Design, and you'll see at the bottom where it says Update to version 7.1. If for some reason you get here and it doesn't say this at the bottom, that just means that your website is actually not within a template in the Brine or Bedford family, and you'll just need to go back and complete those previous steps to make sure that you are compatible with this new upgrade. Once we click on update to version 7.1, we can go ahead and follow the prompts to enter preview mode. Preview mode allows you to view your new 7.1 website without actually making it live yet. So this is really cool because you can kind of play around with things, see how 7.1 works, make some changes. You can go in and edit things once you're familiar with the new platform and kind of know how things work. You can make some design changes and none of it is going to actually be saved as a live site until you choose to publish it. Any changes or edits that you make while you're in preview mode aren't going to affect your live site just yet. So if you are unhappy with the way things are looking or you just aren't really feeling the new 7.1 platform yet and you don't want to make things official, this is your last chance to turn back. All you need to do is click on cancel and you can go ahead and revert back to your 7.0 site. Just note that once you've done that, any edits that you have made in preview mode won't be saved. So if you do decide later on that you want to start again and upgrade, you're going to have to remake all of those edits. Another really important thing to note is that if you are happy with how things are looking and you want to go through with the upgrade, clicking publish is going to officially turn your site into a 7.1 site and you will not be able to revert back to your 7.0 site. So clicking publish and making the upgrade is irreversible. If you're happy with how things are though and you do want to go ahead and make your site live, click publish, publish your 7.1 site, and it's as easy as that. You now have a new official Squarespace 7.1 website. Once this is complete, you can then go back throughout your site and throughout all of your pages to make sure that everything looks the way you want it to look, is designed the way that you want it to be designed, and you can make changes accordingly at that point. The final step in this process is going to be upgrading your new 7.1 site into the Fluid Engine Editor, if that's something you're interested in doing. One of the biggest benefits to transitioning into a 7.1 site is the new Fluid Engine Grid that Squarespace has introduced. So most likely, if you are thinking of upgrading, that is a big reason why you are thinking of doing it. However, when you use this new upgrade tool, your 7.1 site is going to take on the classic editor and it's not immediately going to enter the Fluid Engine editing mode. So if you do want to take that additional upgrade, all you'll have to do is go into editing mode of your website and then scroll through each section of your website to upgrade into the Fluid Engine grid. You'll see in the top left-hand corner this upgrade button and if you click that, you'll go ahead and be transferred into the Fluid Engine grid mode. Something to note here is that upgrading into the Fluid Engine grid might cause some layout changes that are actually a little bit more significant than even moving from 7.0 to 7.1, just because the actual nature of the editor is a lot different. So you'll need to make sure that you have time set aside to go through and fix your layouts, fix your design to make sure that it all looks exactly how you want it to look. You might want to think about setting up an under construction page or something like that for your site while you're going through all of these changes just to make sure that you avoid any kind of awkward run-in with a live site that looks a little wonky while you're making your changes. Another quick thing to note here as well is that changing from the classic editor into the fluid engine editor is also irreversible. So if you have changed one of your sections into the Fluid Engine Grid and you realize you absolutely hate it or you don't understand how it works and you don't have the time to kind of sit with it and learn it, you do have the option to keep all of your other sections within the classic editor for the time being until you feel a little bit more comfortable and are ready to switch everything over. But just know that making that upgrade is irreversible as well. And just remember to keep backing up your website as you go with your customizations and your design edits to make sure that you always have something to refer back to in case you get lost or you're looking to recreate the exact same design. We also have a whole YouTube video on how you can back up your website and your pages and your sections. So definitely be sure to check that out if you are making a ton of edits just to make your life a whole lot easier. That will be linked in the description below.
Otherwise, just have fun with it. Have fun learning the fresh new look and learning the new editor and making all of the new customizations to your 7.1 website. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you like this one, make sure to check out this video too and subscribe. We put out new tech and small business videos like this all the time. So hopefully we'll see you in the next one.